right guys i am here in north york getting ready to meet up with someone but look at this beautiful building gosh that's so nice all the glass damn all right guys you seen that beautiful building I just drove by it's glass i want to show you like the weird stuff but i'm actually here i'm not even in the driver's seat right now what the hell just happened something happened but i'm actually here with ethan on, welcome guys. to the vlogs as the channel has come back nice to see you bro oh snap this is gonna be like more like behind the scenes kind of stuff of what we're gonna be doing for the main channels for both of us and we're gonna throw in some other stuff because you know what this guy's like the king of hot wheels so we're gonna maybe do some hot wheels looking around die cast stuff i don't know collectibles we used to do collectible shopping all the time at walmart cards yeah. we both got sick of it but just recently i want to do this stuff because Connor bedard's rookie card is worth a lot of money and i want it in my collection so the release for that stuff comes out tonight so tonight when we go back I'm actually heading out to Niagara Falls and uh, I actually have some cards waiting for me to be bought. I would have done it now, but you know what? I have plans with him. We're going to do stuff with him. I'll film that and I'll drop that another day type thing. So, but you never know. We might find some stuff now. So let's get going. All right, guys, we are coming up to Park Lane Circle here. This is where Drake lives, by the way. And this normally we don't show where these houses are, but right here by these, this fence and that truck. She's gone. She's gone. So right there was the Titanic Staircase house. Wow. All right, so that house we just drove by, I'm gonna leave the link down below for my main channel video. We did it when it was first noticed. Like, I don't know, if, I don't think we were the first to be in it. I wasn't, I don't know if Ethan was. Ethan usually finds some good shit right off the bat. I don't remember who went that, but, but I was in there, one of the earliest people. So I'm gonna drop my link down below. Check it out. And do you have a video of it being torn up? I like have, destroyed? I have pictures. Okay, maybe if Ethan will give me some pictures, I'll throw yeah. some on the screen right now. I meant to go to do this place to do a review. I've been telling Ethan for the last year, and obviously it's too late. So my original video is down below. I just seen a b-roll for the house again it's pretty cool but right now me and ethan are on a, a mission we did scope out some houses right now which i'm not going to show you uh yet so but right now we're going to do a couple collectible things we have a micro play over there we're going to go check out some video games i'm taking this guy video game shopping and then there's a, a hobby store here like uh, rc cars die cast cars so we're going to check both of these out right now and see what we find all right guys i'm going to see if i can film in here and see what we got we have a station right here of Mario Brothers 3. Ethan doesn't know what that means. <laughs> we have the PS3 section. This place, just from first glance, looks pretty cool. We got strategy guide books right here. Mario Party 8. Like seriously, that's freaking cool. Nintendo Switch section is pretty large, which is pretty good for a store. So I'm looking in the case right here, guys. We have Pokemon Stadium right there. Banjooie Kazooie, complete in box it looks like, and then I'm always looking for box stuff, right? Donkey Kong 64, Hexen is a good game. Golden Eye is supposed to be really good. I've never played it, which I'm told is probably one of the best games out there. Perfect Dark. We have Turok. So I'm looking in the glass container, guys. This is just cartridge stuff only. Nothing really is catching my eye that I can see. And then we got the big Pikachu right here. And then just look, 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 just look at all the store right here. Oh, I see a, a case with the figures in there. But yeah, Zelda's 130 bucks. I have one of those complete in boxes at home. All right, so another part of the counter, we have Street Fighter. Turtles in Time is something I actually really want. 300 bucks, wow. Super Metroid. I wanna get the Mortal Kombat stuff. They might be cheap enough for me to get. And then we have Contra 3, wow. So in the lower section of here, we got some Super Nintendo games. We got like X-Men right there. Oh my God, the Jetsons, that's a pretty cool game. Maximum Carnage, we have Mega Man X, X2. And they hold some good value, some of these games. 
So, oh, Tom and Jerry, that might be a cool game. The Simpsons. Some of the prices are astronomical, but I guess they're good if you're collecting them. I was never a big Final Fantasy guy, so I'll probably never have anything Final Fantasy in my collection. Alright, so we just made it to the cabinet. So Ethan's right beside me looking at some of these prices, but like look at this stuff. These are some big games right here. Worms Armageddon is a thousand dollars. I don't understand why that game is so expensive. But what's behind me here, guys? I don't want to go because there's the people working there and there's other people there. There's a whole stack of Nintendo Power Books that I'm collecting. So let's go check those out. So guys, I went through all these books. They're $9.99 each. These are the stack with the posters, and these are not posters. They give me a deal if I buy them all. But I still need them all regardless, even though I don't have these. So I'm considering to making a deal on these for my collection. I'll let you know what happens. Alright guys, so the owner was actually there and I was trying to do a deal with him. He said he would give me them all for $6 a book. So that's $4 off already uh, retail. And um, I'm like, okay, you know what, I, I'm going to try to high go with the guy. I told him $5 a book. He's like, no, I can't have too much into them. He goes, what did he say? Um, I don't remember. It, it came down to I paid like five seventy-five per book. I don't know if you guys are gonna think I'm crazy for it, but you know what? I want the collection and I got it for a good price, so I can't complain. But now we're gonna go into that hobby store that you see right over there because Ethan wants to show me this diecast store. So let's get into that store now. All right, all right, guys. So this is the store Ethan wants me to go look at. It. See a Batmobile here? Oh my God! Look at all these RC trucks and stuff. Cool. All right, guys. We're in the Fast and Furious section. They got the RX-7. Oh, the truck, the SUV, SVT Lightning. We got the Lancer Evil, the Lamborghini, the Jetta. Yo, this is some pretty nice stuff. And then there's a bunch of cars up here, which I'm looking at. They have what? Tesla Model X. What is Ethan? Ethan's got, let me show you Ethan, what do you got here? You have, I'll show you this after when we get out, guys. He's, he's going on in the world. We got some Fast and Furious up here. They have a Rocky II car. Wow. Batman. Like, they have some nice stuff over here. They have a couple cars over there that I'm not going to show you because it's a car that I own that I haven't revealed yet. And then I just noticed this. They have a Countach right there. Yo, that's pretty cool. Ethan. Oh my gosh. All right. Hello. We just left the store, guys. I didn't buy anything because they didn't have any Skylines. So let's see what you got here, Ethan. All right, so we got the uh, 79 Trans Am from Rocky II. From Rocky. Oh, snap. Rocky, uh, RIP Apollo Creed. He was such a great actor in these movies. Are you going to open this? Yeah, I opened all my Trans Ams. Actually, these are all going to get opened. What? Yeah, we opened everything. Uh, we got a 49 Merc convertible, or 50 Merc convertible, like a lowrider. California lowriders, eh? And they're, they're decently priced. He paid thirteen dollars for this. They're not bad. A lot of detail. Yeah, these yeah. ones I like. They're really nice. So, yeah. and what's the last one you got? It's like a pink '67 Mustang Coupe. That's based on like a real car from back then. So. Guys, look at this. Ethan, look at me for a second. Guys, doesn't that pink look pop? It make his eyes pop. Guys, screenshot this and tag him on Instagram. <laughs> no, it's not bad. I was actually looking at this one, who, but he got it too before me. Because I, at the end of the day, I'm a Mustang guy still at heart, even though I have all this GDM stuff in my collection. But Mustangs are definitely cool. So, yeah. Yeah. we have made our way to Walmart, mine and Ethan's favorite store to go shopping. So, we're gonna get some food here, guys, and we're gonna go look for some hockey cards, possibly, right? Yep. Hockey cards, yeah, and maybe some Hot Wheels. So, let's get her in there. All right, guys, they have a ton of stuff. They have lots of Pokemon cards, they have a lot of basketball or football. Bad, baseball, hockey, whatever. We're looking for the new set, which is not those, not those, not those. Mm. Is that? Oh, I thought that was golf. I thought that was like golf for a second. They don't have the new hockey set that I need for the Bedard chase. So, I'm thinking maybe I can get a couple right now and open them on camera, but that ain't happening. 23, 24. Here we go. Here's one. What is this? Look for autograph rookie cards. What? I don't even know who's in this set, to be honest. Ice. Oh, I never liked those ones. Then we have a couple hanger ones up here. This is Prism Panini. Uh, baseball. Uh, 
Some of these are pretty decent, but I don't know. Oh my god. Some baseball here. Oh my god, Evie. Oh, they have a couple Yu-Gi-Oh box mystery boxes. I really want to find the Pokemon mystery boxes. I haven't seen those in a long time. And they don't have anything here, obviously. But those Good World Champion things, they're cool. But I would not buy them constantly for anything, really. I've never done any Yu-Gi-Oh. Is there a lot of money in Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Does anyone know? I don't even know what an old pack or a good pack is. They have Star Rookies right here. Box set. Oh, what's this? They have... Oh, CHL. Oh, okay, okay. So, in here you can probably get the Connor Bedard rookie before he hits the NHL. So, I think. I'd have to see, but I'm almost positive you can get Bedard's OHL, CHL card, whatever like that. All right, guys, say it. So someone just walked in this highway, had three brand new boxes of cards of basketball, the Prism Panini, and I have no idea where he got him. He went, he was talking to someone on the phone, and he's like, yeah, I can get you some. And he walked to the other side of the store. I didn't go because right now, me and Ethan, were on the hunt for Hot Wheels, and get ready for this. So, Ethan, you just took that case from the cart, and we're unboxing it ourselves. We did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so what, so what are we looking for packs. here? So we got the... The Sylvia and the Sentra. Okay. Uh, what, are you, what are you looking for in here? Tell everyone oh, what you look I'm going to keep that one to the end. We'll do that one last. Is it in there? It is in there. There's a couple Subarus. Super? Actually, that's not bad. I like the silver one. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then this one, this is this is what I'm really into. We got the the Veyron and the Chiron. Let me see this. There's only one in there? There's three. How much are these things? What, 20 bucks? 15 bucks. Serious? Yeah. Ooh, I should get some of these. Yeah. Ooh, did you get one? Yeah, I get one. Give me the I'll two. I'll, give me the two. I'll take them for my yeah. collection. Okay, bet. And the funny thing is, Ethan looked through another box right now, and he pulled these out for me. Ready for this? This is a case hit. He goes, not every store will get these in every box. I think so. And then I got that. And then what I seen in there also, I seen these, the Skyline 2000 GTX. They're pretty cool. People will buy these and they'll resell them. I like them because they're cool. I'd like to have the R34s, but still, these are really nice. And uh, look at Ethan, oh my gosh. <laughs> some Bugattis. Do you wanna go open some more boxes? Might as well. All right, let's go. All right, we're back in the car right now. I bought a bunch of stuff. Ethan bought a bunch of stuff. I changed my mind. I wasn't gonna buy those three Skylines. I ended up buying that entire case and I stole the Bugatti from him. What do you have to say about that? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get one car I think I showed in the video I got the Back to the Future car I'm going to show all my, my buys today at the end of the video anyway the books, I'm going to show you a couple of the books that I really liked and uh, the cars but this is, day is just halfway done like seriously, we have so much more to go I am going to show you behind the scenes of what we are filming for our main channels but uh, we ended up getting some food we're starving so I got Dynamite Rolls Sushi what did you get? I got uh, shrimp and salmon Ooh, bon appetit. <laughs> Here we are again. We are at another Walmart looking for the Hot Wheels that me and Ethan are looking for. We're gonna open more cases, right, Ethan? Probably, hopefully. All right, let's do it. Yes. All right, we are in the Hot Wheels section. Does it look like they put anything up? Oh, that's pretty nice. Huh. I just like the, the coloring on that, it's pretty nice, so. I have no idea, Ethan. I don't think anything's been pulled out here, right? Doesn't look like it now. Let's go next aisle. All right, so we got all those are Yu-Gi-Oh power cubes. I'm trying to see. They got oh, okay. They have some of these, the ultra rare, really soccer. Okay. Okay, that was good. That was what the guy was had at the other store. He had soccer ones. So I thought they were basketball. Okay, so here's one. We are looking. We got some. We got some of these. You can get the Ella de la Cruz in there. Oh my God. Whoa, what's this, a mega box. These mega box ones are really good apparently. 60 bones, nice. Trying to see, I'm, I'm scouting, I'm scouting. Anything up here, do, 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 do. nothing, nothing. I'm looking for series two, but I don't think they have it. Ah, that sucks. Oh, a Yu-Gi-Oh mystery box. I don't really want those. They got some Opichi down there. Uh, huh. Paradox Rift. 
this was a pretty good set here like this is like a mystery box too all right so i'm sitting here turning my camera off thinking he was someone else and he walked up right behind me i thought he was gonna like touch my bum well yeah <laughs> we got the opichis this could be like um a bedard chase in here i don't know if they're any valuable but still a bedard I, I might consider this but i don't know like there's so much other stuff eh in here you can get the wemby wemby's are good i think wemby's are really nice to have so i don't know like um and then all these other ones these are all on clearance type thing those other ones prism back here so i don't know all right guys so i didn't really want to buy any of those sets there ethan says we are going to go to multiple walmarts we're going to go to a toys r us even yes, he sir. said yes, sir. he says toys r us has some pretty good cars he's been getting a lot of nice deals there so we'll check that out and uh skip this walmart but we will find some more cases that we're going to crack open Hopefully at another Walmart and uh, grab some cars. Excuse me, Ethan. Hello. Uh, what do you have in your hand there? there That's some go. food? Oh my god. So do I. We we hungry today. You know? Yes sir. Hi Ethan! You starting to dig in already? Perhaps. So Ethan has some potato, some chicken wings, which I'm gonna steal. What else did you buy? You bought something else. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Oh, you bought some uh, uh, shortbread cookies. Yes, sir. I ended up buying us some little small pizzas. We're gonna share. We're gonna. Sh this is all the fucking shit we're sharing. Yeah. So, I got them pizzas, three each, and then these lemon cakes. Oh my god, I was craving this. And this is what happens when me and Ethan go out exploring. We always are hungry and always eating. <laughs> we're gonna keep going. We have we're gonna a uh, Toys R Us now. Yeah. We're gonna go find some more Hot Wheels and stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying this content. Welcome back to the channel and Ethan's first time on the vlog channel. So let's go. All right, guys. I figure I have a pizza. Why not do a pizza review? Uh, I already took a bite, but we're gonna pretend I didn't do that and then. Oh. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Multiple bites, everyone knows the rules. Hmm. You get what you pay for, and for on the go, it's not bad. If I were to rate this in a pizza video, <laughs> it would not do good. I'll be honest, but because we're on the go, running around doing stuff, this is perfect for what you need. It's great. No score, it's great. And here we are at a Toys R Us to look for some Hot Wheels, and since we're at it, we're gonna look for some Funko Pops or something. So we have entered the Hot Wheels aisle. Ethan, I found your perfect car. Can you tell which one it is already? Yeah, I, I can. Yeah? The Barbie one is Barbie just for you. Right, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's <laughs> this is Ethan's car right here. Camaro. Oh, look at this. Rock'em Sock'em Robot. These are pretty cool. Is it the same one for everything? Yeah. The She-Hulk. Yo. Oh, She-Hulk. Yeah. The Looney Tunes. No way. I mean, you are lucky I did not get that on camera. What did you just do? You pulled off the shelf and you ripped the whole no, thing off. It was like that. What? I you just ripped... That. I am so mad at you, you right now. So... You're like lucky that. this camera was not rolling. No, it was like that. I would have had. I was about to turn it on too, and you, you look at it. He knocked it off. Bad boy. All right, the Funko Pop section does not look very hot right now. I always look for the special edition ones, like Funko exclusives, like this. But this one's nothing special right now. So yeah, I always find like the Funko exclusives or look at this one here. This is a Toys R Us exclusive. <laughs> Jeffrey as a Raphael. That's kind of cool, to be honest, but wait, that's the only one they have here? Oh, Jeffrey as Michelangelo. If they... Oh my God. Who are we missing? Leo, 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 where is he? So they do have all of them. Oh my God, I would consider that. But this is like a Toys R Us exclusive, so does it make it that much valuable? I, I have no idea, but. All right, guys, I'm sitting in one spot of Toys R Us right now, and I, I, I don't understand what's happening here, but check this out. They have aisles of dvds like in blu-rays and stuff like they're bringing back blu-rays and dvds into the stores like how crazy is that this is all blu-rays right here like oh this is all 4k right here oh my god they have a beetlejuice no way oh that's a cartoon no way but how cool is it and i oh i just noticed on that side they have cds right there but i was trying to look for the hockey cards the baseball cards they sometimes have them here but this is kind of cool to see that they're making a comeback with DVDs. Because in Canada, everything was dying out for DVDs. Everything, like literally. 
So we have vinyls right here. And Ethan pointed something out. They have a lot of stuff on the wall, but this is like an HMV shop. It's like a pop-up shop inside of Toys R Us. I wonder if this is going to be permanent and HMVs are going to close all around. I'm not sure, but i just seen Hellboy right here. This is a pretty badass book. Yo, this is awesome. They have Sonic. Whoa. This is pretty cool. Do you know if HMV is closing? They closed already, didn't it? Years ago, yeah. Like so this is just like a pop-up shop like Zeller's, I'm assuming. Yeah. I hope something like this stays because then it's got like manga in here too, but like, that's crazy. All right, guys, we got back to the car. I actually purchased a couple things off camera that I'm going to show you guys at the end of the video. I'm actually pretty stoked about it. So you have to wait till the end of the video, all the way to the end. You go, know, watch to the end, and you'll see what I got. It's pretty epic, so. All right, guys, as you can see, we're back in Walmart. I'm going to check for some cards, Hot Wheels, and some other random stuff. Oh, oh. GTR, they got the Mercedes. <gasps> wait, what is that? That's to set your skylines in. No way. See, look in the back. Oh my god, so it was, it was here. It was here, yeah. No freaking way. Come on. Can we buy them online? Yeah. From Walmart's website? No, you have to order them from somewhere. Dang. Ethan said this is for $30, but the detail on this car is really good. I'm starting to think it's really nice, to be honest. Wow. And there's the car in question right there. That's the GTR I'm trying to look for. And this video will go on to another video. I'm on the hunt for that GTR. On the hunt. I want it and I need it. All right. We're in the hockey aisle and sports cards and yada yada. yada. Oh, 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 Ethan. So that's the box. Damn oh my God, it's empty. That's literally the... <gasps> Freaking... <clears throat> my God, that was the box. Again. That was the box. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, Ethan is somewhere there. Um, Damn it. I'm so upset. So upset, man. <sighs> Got some tins for Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh. I, oh, I don't even care anymore. Damn it. So frustrating. That literally is the box. Like, um, yeah. Damn it. Missed him twice today. That's baloney. That's, oh, frig sakes. If anyone has that GTR and they're watching this video, I will buy it off of you for a, a reasonable price. I really want it. Send me a message on Instagram or whatever the hell, I, I just want it. All right, guys, we still have some part of the night. We're gonna go to a couple of their Walmarts. We're gonna find them. Whether we have to open all the cases in every freaking store, I'm finding one and I want one for my collection. All right, guys, we're in Vaughn Mills. Ethan said there's a die, a die cast store. place toy store yeah. that might have this super. So we're in Vaughn Mills right now. As soon as I turn the corner from where we are right now, what you're about to see is crazy, right? Watch this. We have a VW party bug, or bus, sorry, my bad. This is crazy. Wow. All right, we're coming up to a place called Playtime Toys. Let's see if Ethan's got something here. Yo, there's a R32 GTR right here. Got a Honda NSX. There's some crazy cars here. Like even this, the Ford RS200. There is no Skyline R34 GTRs here that we can see. Just the R32s. They have about three of them that I noticed. So, so sick. No. <gasps> Get this one. It's ten dollars. Why can't this be ten dollars? Why can't the R32 be ten dollars? This was ten bucks. I get it. How much is that one? Twenty. Oh my gosh. So guys, we're walking out of the store right now. Right where the Marshall sign is. There's a vending machine there. What's in that vending machine is kind of crazy. There's sports cards in there. And I actually want to check it out. Relics, cards, and collectibles. That's pretty dope. You have the artwork on the side, and it is a touch screen to buy. All right, guys, so there's so many cards and you can get. You can get UFC Prism cards, which are $25 a pack. Those Prism there, the basketball, they're 40 bucks on clearance or something. That's where you can get Victor Wimbiyama. And then there's a bunch of other stuff here, but I don't know. This is pretty cool, to be honest. All right, guys, so I did not buy anything from that card vending machine. But one day, I'm going to come back with me and Ethan. We're going to buy a bunch of stuff like that. We're going to unbox them on the spot. So be prepared for something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Just doing one video of just doing unboxings from a vending machine. I think that'd be cool. So, yeah, on to the next, boys and girls.
All right, guys, we are at another Walmart. This might be the final one for the video. I'm not too sure, but let's check it out. All right, guys, we're in the aisle way. I don't think we have... Oh, there's a box right there. Oh, my God. Ethan's going to do it. No? There's a box right no. there. No, those are it either. Nope. Someone's going through the one right on the thing. Huh. All right, guys, we are pretty dry for the cards. Honestly, there's like nothing. What are these? Avenger cards? Oh, it's a toy. Okay, I thought it was cards. The only thing worth here getting is this Magic the Gathering mystery box. But I've been out of Magic the Gathering so long, I don't even know what the mystery, like the old pack would be. Like, I, I used to play this back in the day when it first came out. So I had a lot of the big cards. I might still have some here and there, but you'll see them down the road. But I did have like uh, all the better cards back in the day, Unlimited. I never did Alpha or Beta, but I did Unlimited and On. And I had all the best cards in Unlimited and uh, the other one. All right, guys, after multiple failed attempts at Walmart, we did not end up finding the GTR. I didn't want to film it because it was constantly going to every Walmart and failing to find it. But I'm actually back home now and I want to show you guys what I did buy. It's pretty cool. All right, these are my two boxes of goodies right here. So I bought a Switch game for $7 for Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein's a pretty good game. It should be an interesting game to play just to mess around with for seven dollars what it is what it is right and then i bought these these ferraris ferrari enzo and 488 i think it was and let's see this one is a sf90 stradali and this one is a f8 Pretty nice cars. Uh, these are actually really good. They're going to go pretty good in my collection. These were like... Even Ethan was saying these were really cheap. We bought these for $9 a piece. For a Ferrari. Ferrari car. Those are pretty good. Can't complain with those. 9 bucks. That's good in the collection. Alright, so we're going to go over to this one next. We had found... Oh, there's my bill. We found one Back to the Future car DeLorean. This is really, really cool. I usually have a bunch of these. Every year they have one of these, I, I buy one. But this one's gonna go in one of those special cases because it's a Back to the Future car. It's not special, it's not like no $50, $100 car, but some Hot Wheels do get to that high. But I wanna display this in the, the man cave when it's done and you guys will see that. And then I bought all of these things. Oh my God. Look at this. Subaru and Subaru. There's that one. There is... Oh, more Subarus. Okay. And we got the Nissan Sentra SCR and the Nissan Silvia S13. This is a really good set. Super Street. So, I think there is... Mm -mm. And then we got the Bugatti set. So I got all three of them, and I think I got three of each just because I wanted them for my collection. I don't hoard them too much, but <laughs> I'm hoarding the Bugattis. I'm trying to catch up to Ethan because Ethan has a ton of these. He sold a lot of his off, but I'm still going to collect them because they hold a decent value if I ever wanted to sell them. All right, guys. So now we have the stack of Nintendo Power Books. So I've been collecting these off camera for a while now, and I try to buy them as much as I can. There's 63 in this right now. Hey, let's check this out, watch. I'll show you a couple of them. They have some nice artwork on them. Okay, so I have the first stack out right here, and just look at some of these. There's no names here, no stamps here, which is nice. Um, yeah, nothing on the back. But you normally have a stamp here where it went to, who bought it, blah, blah, blah. But let's look, look at these artworks. They're really nice. Um, again, I like them. Not all of these have the posters in them. But for what I paid for them, it doesn't really matter. I can always replace them later down the road. And buy the poster copies and then sell these off or whatever I want to do. You know what I mean? So, because eventually I want to do is get the set. And then, like, uh, 
get them all fully with the posters and stuff like that. Like Cinevina. We have a bunch of like Pokemon ones. I'm gonna do a, a, a unboxing one day with all my power books. But for now, you guys can wait. There is a, a bunch of them down there. So, all right, guys. When the game room is done, I will unbox and show you guys all the games, all the magazines, because I I have an idea of what I want to do to make the game room and all kind of stuff. And the collection, you guys, I hope will like, uh, and how I designed the room. So, with that being said, for now, that's gonna stay on my floor. I have to get that all cleaned up and get it sorted where it's gotta go. But for now, you guys know how it is. Keep it real, stay positive, keep living that dream. Hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.